Welcome to another edition of Skip, Rent, or Buy. This movie you might not have even heard of. The original title is Christian F. Now my German's not great, so Wir Kinder vom Bahnhof so or something like that, which I think translates into We Children of Bahnhof Zoo. Now Bahnhof Zoo as depicted in the film at least, and I believe that's the actual truth because this was based on actual events. It was a place where junkies would go to prostitute themselves, basically, to varying degrees, um, to, you know, earn money to pay for their drug habits. It's also known just as Christian F, and I think the British title is just Zoo, just, you know, Z-O-O, -O, so. It is a very, very tough film to watch. Um, as you've already surmised, it's about drugs, and it's a very realistic depiction of the way the, the addiction develops over time. It's nicely shot and edited, but never, like, flashy. Um, it's a very natural kind of approach. Not not documentary, but just it doesn't really draw attention to itself the way it's shot and edited. If I had to make some comparison, I'd say it's train spotting sans the you know, the stylistic approach of that and all the semi philosophy uh, of that film. That film was a more ironic and somewhat ambiguous approach to showing this environment with drugs and junkies and such. This is a very straight, very unpleasant, it doesn't hold back, but what's nice about it is it's not propaganda, you know, it's not reefer madness. It shows all the negatives holding back very little, I think they pushed it almost as far as they could without getting it like banned. I think Germany has pretty strict rules and this is from 81 so it might have been even harder back then but they show some very very disturbing and unsettling scenes and sequences and what makes it have all the more impact is that it was really based on you know there really was a Christian she, she might even still be alive I haven't really researched this it's something that really happened. You know, the tagline is the image of a generation and in the seventies there apparently were a lot of, you know, people like her, young people on drugs, um, who wound up at going to Bahnhof Zoo. It's immensely well acted for most of the cast being like, you know, early in their early t one complaint I've heard about this is that some viewers didn't find the characters terribly likable. What I would say is that they arguably do not have all that much personality. They're not terribly fleshed out, but they do go through a lot of developments through the film, and I don't think it was ever really like a character study, you know? It's about what a drug addiction does to someone, and it shows very well how some people could get into it. You should also maybe know it is a relatively slow-paced film. It's two hours, and you can maybe kind of tell that it's two hours. It doesn't, like, fly right past you, but it's not really supposed to. Bear in mind, this film is not going to entertain you. It is not enjoyable. It is disturbing, brutal, uncompromising, and very, very real. And one can hope that it discourages as many people as possible from, you know, getting into drugs because it has this very frank tone. And again, it doesn't lie, it doesn't balloon what it actually is. It just tells you, shows you what drugs do. And it shows many different outcomes of it. Yeah, I would definitely re recommend it to anyone who wants to know drugs um, and wants to know from a f probably going to get more information if you like 
you know, look it up at a credible source. But this gives you the very visceral and the very strong impression of it. And I would definitely recommend at least a rent if you want a good movie about drug addiction. That's all I have for this one. See you next